Welcome to the Plain Air from Home Urban Sketcher. This is the Fancy Victorian. I really like this sketch. It's full of lots of little nifty filigree stuff. Anyway, get on with it and enjoy it. Here are the markers that I use. They're Artist Loft and I purchased them from Michaels for about 19 or 20 bucks, but I think you can get them for less with about 40% off if you keep a coupon. Anyway, they work very well. They're double-ended and the chart shows you the marks that they make. Here's a nifty thing. I bought a couple of these wicker baskets with magnets on them from Dollarama and I attached them to each side of a metal bookend. On one side I keep my gray markers and on the other side I keep my black markers. This makes my drawing board a lot neater, a lot faster to find what I'm looking for, and my life a little easier. You might find this useful. Anyway, have a look. Well, here we are back again. And as usual, I'm going to start with the Ultra Fine Sharpie. Plot uh, out. Actually, that works pretty well. No part there. Remember, we're just doing big shapes. I'm not kidding. But this has got a lot of bric a brac on it. That uh, goes to there. So we'll go down. And that goes to about there. So let's do it. Generally start from the top down. And my goodness, this really fits on the grid nicely. And let's see. We've got a couple of things that go to there. And that goes down to there. And over to there. There's a lot of decorations on uh, Victorian houses. Kind of bit goes like that. And almost to about there that goes. A little short bit here. And down. Wow, this is going pretty well. Now, down about here. Go to about there. And down to there. Well, it comes up like that. We've got a roundy bit here. Boy, there's a lot of detail on this. Sorry about that. But don't get precious. Just draw what you see. All the mistakes you're going to make are just going to add to the charm because nobody's going to know. Now, right here is the bottom of that uh, window. Spot that goes up about there, and sort of down, sort of a happy roundy goes down. Another one goes not quite as round, but it comes down. Sorry, I started this one. Well, that's an encouraging thing, isn't it? But you can do it. Mm. 
Now I got a little panel in here, a little panel in here, one in here, um, one going down this way, one going down this way. Now I've got some corbels. So I'm going to just plot the tops of these things. Once I've got the tops, I'll be able to find the rest of it. Um, and then, sort of comes down there like that. That comes down there like that. That one comes down like that. Now that's interesting because we've got So that one comes like that, like that, to there, like that. Now, we've got a dark, dark spot in here, here, and here. And here, that one goes down like that. Okay. Hey, this is looking pretty good, actually. Uh, and we got a corbel that comes like that. And down. Um, Corbel here, one here, and one here. And they go to about there. So we'll put those in. Notice I'm not getting fussy about them. There's a lot of fussiness on them, but that's just too much detail to get into. So we got a couple lines in here. Couple up here, and forgot that one. That one goes down like that. Now we've got uh, some lines that go across like that, and pretty much the same here. Wow, now uh, here, there's a pretty narrow window here because of the perspective. And what well, we got it down like that. Pull that out a bit farther. Busy, busy place up here. Right here. So, and funny little shapes that come down here like that, and that comes like that, and window goes to here. Now we've got a line that goes like so, sort of right about here. Is it like a gable end here? With some fancies to go that way. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse <coughs> me. Hay fever. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Um, now that little window. Something like that, like that, again, like that. Now there's like a side bit that comes down, which is white. Oh, I forgot about those. There's some neat things here. A little like pineapples coming up. Fake them. <laughs> no. there, some bits there, some bits here. Well, you got a couple of things going on here. I'm not going to put all of that in, it just make you crazy. Oh, we're going to come down. What about there? 
white thing coming down there. Now, let's get uh, that, that bit here and here. Let's put in some of where the foliage is so I know where to stop this thing. Okay. Um, now, when that core ball comes like that, we come down like so. This is going to be fun to do, I think, this one. Uh, especially when we get to do the grays. Now, there's a thing there and a thing there and a bit that goes that way that way and in here go right down to there a bit too far over but what the heck who's gonna know oh what do we got here and there's uh, about there. All kinds of funny little bits in here, so I'll put some squiggles in. Very narrow window here because it goes back. I'll put some squiggles in there. Wow, it's looking pretty good, and I'm actually bluffing so much of it here. Now, oh, door. We got some Corinthian pillars on the end. Another bit in here, and then there's some Corinthian pillars. So I just squiggled in there. <laughs> And we come down to about there. And a bit there. And just below that, there's a couple bits. Now we just join them up. And then there's a fat bit that comes down like that. All right. And another one over there. But. We've got all of these bushes that come down here. Okay. Now we got a really neat door in here. And around. Down. And that comes to there, actually. That's cool. I think there's some white spots in here. I'll try to leave those when I go about doing this. Now in line here. A um, couple of little treads. There are some fat ones there. Now down here, I think there's a like a kind of a, a, I mean, a thing that goes like that. And here we got a thing that goes like that again. Looks like a railing. So we just do a bunch of treads here. I'm not going to count them. And then we get it wider down this way. So continue. Wow, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Now, this. There's a dark spot that goes down to about there. And we got some bushes there. So, actually that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I'm going to put the uh, surround on following the grid so that when it comes to shading this thing, I know my limits. 
Well, I think we got some there. Post there with a post there. Okay, and one there. I'm drawing those in because I'd like to leave them some funny bits in here when I do the negative uh, uh, rendering around those things. Now, wait a second. We got some interesting bits that come up like that. And there's a whole bunch of corbels that go in here. And I just, I'll bluff them in. So just don't get all excited because I'm not going to make them all that accurate. All right. Okay, I'm going to call that the line drawing. And I'll be back to start the uh, uh, the grays and the, and the blacks. I'm going to start with the broad tip black. It's the number 10. And fill in uh, where I can the blacks that are in there. So I'll just put that in. And this is actually kind of a, kind of a challenging little building to do. But it's so full of detail. And of course I bluffed most of it. And I'm going to spot in there. And then there. 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 And here. That goes there. There's a spot that goes there. 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 And this. And I'm going to just leave a few whites showing there, and I'll come back in and uh, um, fill them all in. Now there's a nice little shadow in here. Actually, I'm going to put in some trees in here, right? Now remember, we just dab, 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 dab to leave some sort of sky holes. Now, remember I said I wanted to leave that. Let me just make a sawtooth here because those are steps coming down. I should have worked from left to right. Now there's a really dark dark in here, so I'm and it comes down to about there. The door is very dark, but I'm going to save that for a uh, sort of a dark. Um, uh, what do we call it? Um, uh, gray. Alrighty, so I'm going to leave that, that, and we're just going to fill in some of these to leave. And again, a sawtooth because we've got stairs going down. Okay, now squirrels, swirls, dot, 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 dot. break out. You don't want a solid bit there. Already it's got charm. The old fancy Victorian. Sometime in the future I'll probably put I might just put a wash over top of this. Now we're gonna put some little tiny dots in here. They kind of go in here. You remember we did that one of the other ones? Well you haven't seen that one. Well you have seen that one because I this is like I'm about two weeks before you see this one. And let me go down. That's because there's trees going over top of it. This really makes a difference, you know, that uh, sort of pushing it within its uh, environment. Okay, I'm going to call that with it. But I'm not going to use, I'm going to use the the fine tip, not the ultra fine tip sharpie, but just the fine uh, fine tip, and put a few little accents in. So there's one that goes there, there. This comes down a bit farther. Uh, the tops of these windows, right? Tops of this. This one. This one. Across. Down. 
Yeah, that little bit there. It's down there, but you don't see the other one. A little bit goes here, here. It's a little bit finer. You probably could have just left that. Uh, what are we going to going in here? From there, there. These. Leave the center bits. Again, this line here just you won't see a dark bit there because it's in shadow. Or you just can't see it. Now, so we'll put some dots in here as well to break up that. A little bit of foliage. I think the gardener let this place go a bit, quite honestly. I like doing that. Now down here, we get into this area here because there's going to be gray on that. So we'll just do the uh, parts of the stairs there. Actually, I'm going to come in here. Looks like there's a transom window there. And then here, in here. And I think I'll go about that far. Oh, that's good. I like markers when they do that. Okay, anything else? Yes, one there, 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 and underneath, back. Oh, a bit of a shadow in there, a bit of one in there, one there. All these little bits help out. I'm going to put that one in solid black. And there's one there, but you wouldn't see it. Okay, I'm going to call that the blacks. I probably will come back. Well, no, I can't do that. There's more in here. We'll put those in. And we've got kind of a straight line that comes down. Okay, that's the black. Get back to you with the grays. I'm using a number five broad stroke uh, gray to, uh, uh, God, I like how these things do that. All right, so um, some of this I can put a little bit of line there. Actually, I'm just going to fill in this, right? Back in here. It should have been lighter, but it wouldn't be the contrast that I would be looking for. Now, these. Notice I left spots there because I'm lazy. And it's too much trouble and you go, go over the line sort of thing. So, come back in here. Uh, that one goes that way. Actually, these are dark in here. Whoa, is that ever looking good? Put that in there like so. And do this one. I'm going to leave some whites, actually. That should come down. And we'll go in here, fill those in. I'm going to push some of this stuff back because it's... Um, push some of that back. Push some of that back. And these stairs here, actually I'm going to go a bit darker with that. I'll put this away. And I think I'll go with a five if I can find it. Hmm. There. No, that's an eight. Where the heck is it? Well, there it is. <laughs> What's this one? That's black. Uh, well, we'll take a six. Oh, there's the five. And we'll come in here and push those in. Yes. All right, and we'll come in here, put that in. Actually, oops. Which number is this? Number six. I'm going to go a little darker in here. Yeah, there we go. And 
push that back. Gosh, I'm just about finished this now. That went pretty quick. All right. Some of these got a line that goes this way. Actually, that's a bit too dark. I'm going to take the five pointy one. There's a line that comes under there, 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 and here, and there. That is darker. So will this one be. And we I'm gonna come back in with the Sharpie. Now there's some kind of bits in there like that that are probably from the drapes. There. A little highlight there. A little light there. A little light there. Sides. Yeah. A little bit there. Now, we're going to have to find number five again. Yeah. There's drapes going on here, so I'm just going to use a fine line to put those drapes in. And this is a bit darker at the bottom. And where's the number three? Forgot that one. That's darker. Now I'm going to take the ultra fine, wherever I put it, right there. I'm going to start putting in little dots in here, right? This is a, I don't know, some sort of hound's tooth thing going in there, a doc, doctor's tooth, dental tooth going in there. You got a bunch of stuff in there, so I just squiggle it in. You see how that helps it? Do it in here, in here. There's some stuff in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And there's a little bit dark spot in there, in there. Mm. Now, there's a bunch of bits in there. I had to make sure I was recording. This top line I'm going to make darker. some in here and we got some bits in there oh yeah we got some stuff in there I'm just faking it and we'll get a bunch in here a bunch in here yeah these are I just make little tiny C's in there, right? Middle in here. And that goes down to there. And down to there. And I'm going to uh, actually... Oh, there's some under there. We got that. Okay, some under there. Just making little, little, little strokes. Now, number five, broad stroke. That goes across like that and down like that. And this one a bit darker. Now, number, what are we going to do? I think a number five as well. Where is it? Number five. Kind of a darky sort of sky in here, so I'm going to put that in. Should have left the white there. Didn't know where the thickness of the thing was. Got to go up.
Now, I'm going to grab this thing. Do you remember this thing? The Pentel Correction Pen. Check to make sure it's working. Yeah, it is. I lost that white there, so I'll just come back and put it in. Awesome. Put some in there. And touch that up. We'll put little spots in there where I'm kind of liking this, you know that? And we got a couple spots in here. There's a white spot up here. And what else have we got going on here? No, I don't want to lose that one. I'm going to call that done. So I'm just going to put my white gel pen John Henry on this thing. That's not it. There it is. The roll gel, right? Jelly roll 10. And here comes the big RDM. Well, thanks for watching. This has been fun to do. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe, I'd enjoy that. Thumbs up would be appreciated. By all means, hit the bell and be notified of new marker videos. By the way, comments are always welcome. Have a great day, keep on sketching, and be safe.